Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. <laughs> that one is really uncomfortable right now. This is the darkest timeline. <laughs> uh, I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> the plans are dark. Well, you gotta come up with all the plans to oh. do your quest. Yeah. So, uh, how, how are you guys going to go about this? So, we should okay. think about going to a different town first. Yeah. <laughs> Probably we shouldn't do this in Berkshire. And even you know if it fails, we can still give him a fake potion in this bottle. We could do it to the stable boy, right? Because, like, he's not going to complain. Why? If we do it to it, it's a part <laughs> oh, of the process God. of making a love potion. So if we do it to him, and it's like, well, we had to, because it's how you make a love potion. It's your own fault. It's just sort of... <laughs> so we, we're going to have to convince him first, like, you know, like the puppy, you know, you should, this is, you should uh, devote yourself to this puppy. You know, yeah, time. we just tell him he needs to fall in love with the puppy for us to make a love potion. So fall in love with this puppy. Yeah, it's I don't a good think plan. Just don't tell him it's because we need to break his heart. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't tell him we need to break his heart and kill the puppy. Um, Perfect. Wait, hold on. What do we need for the potion? Tell me again. It's in this we need A drop okay. of pure love, a tear of a broken heart, honey, and a puppy dog tail. Now, do we need honey? honey or a honey? You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a jar of honey. Okay. Yeah. So we can get the drop of pure blood because it's arbitrary. So the dog will love the kid. So that we can just like take the dog's blood and that'll be a drop of pure love or whatever. And then the tears of the kid and then the puppy tail. We're sorted. Sounds I think like this is the deal. easiest thousand gold we made, yeah? yeah. <laughs> to be well, clear, I haven't, I, to be clear, I haven't actually said how much the rubies were. Ah, <laughs> uh, true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot. I just said it's you worth can, a lot. If it's a ruby, you know, I guess it can kind of like, you know, still, it's probably valuable. Yeah. But we shouldn't probably do this in Berkshire. Even a stable boy could, well, get the sheriff or something like this. Yeah, but if we tell him it's because we need to do it for the love potion, you know, we can just be like, he told us to do it. Like, this is what I, I don't think he would call the sheriff or like try to get the guards because like you know he he wants to a love potion made so like you know and, and this you is how say it's that but I have seen people turn from a deal. Yeah, well, this is how it's done. So yeah, we can give him his silver back, I suppose. Or we just move to another town and look there. True, true. We can't just do it to a random person. Probably better for the deal. Yeah. Well, what are you guys going to do? Hmm, what about Rick Thron Rorenta? Let's not do it in the town that has the most amount of guards. <laughs> we go to the one... What we should do is go find a young kid, like... Just on a farm somewhere? It... Yeah. Yeah, like... just like out in one of the in number of like nameless villages that aren't mm. actually marked on the map because we know there's a bunch mm. that are just on the map along the road that nobody actually has marked on the map. Well, if we're going to a farm, yeah. we don't even need a puppy. I'm sure I'm sure they'll have a family. Oh, no, we need a puppy's tail. We need a pure uh, love, too. You don't necessarily need a puppy's tail. It could be a unicorn fart or the essence of a rainbow or the kisses of a butterfly. Yeah, Listen, those Neil, you've way. clearly made decapitating, or not decapitating, but dismembering a puppy the easiest one to get of these, so... Is the objective always to... Do you always want to do it the easiest way? <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't know where do Unicorn way, is, so I guess we're stuck chopping off a puppy's tail. All right, all Are right, don't like... let me tell you how to run your game. Do your thing. Are we just, like, outside right now? Yeah, you're just outside having this discussion. Are there any butterflies around? <laughs> I mean, yeah. we'll probably be able to have a butterfly kiss him. Uh, there are some butterflies around, yes. Okay, I will try to channel my elf... My elf... 
I don't know. You're what an elf. Like. Yes, you're an elf. I'm an elf. <laughs> And approach these butterflies. You channel your inner elf. Give me a charisma check. Okay. Mm. You spread out your hands and project your elvenness into the world, and um, like a crow comes and lands on your arm. I just say, oh. I go, oh, neat. <laughs> ah! It yells in your ear. I. Okay. That was Make rude. the exact same sound as the crow. Ah! 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 I mimic oh, the sounds Jesus. of the crow. Sorry, Simon. Perfectly. <laughs> Stop <laughs> fucking with the crows. <laughs> <laughs> like, one of the unspoken rules of the world is you don't fuck with crows. They will fuck with you back. I just put my arms down. <laughs> it and flies like, off. <laughs> and eats a butterfly on the way out. That's okay. Oh, no. That's okay. I tried. I'm finished with those damn butterflies. Wasn't everything you for? Well, look. Clearly, the dog's the only option now. So let's go get a dog. Right? Yeah, it's just yeah. way more easier than this. Yep, I tried. Essence of a rainbow. Where the fuck was we get the essence of a I look, rainbow? Are there any rainbows? <laughs> okay, the, hold on, Eel. I'm going to go down to the local like candy store and buy some minutes. Skittles. There oh, are no Skittles. Work, right? I'm, just I'm gonna... sorry. Ah. Oh. <laughs> there, are there any fountains where you can create a rainbow, like, like get the mist to go out and cause a ra like make a little rainbow? Uh, I mean, I guess you could find a fountain somewhere and then just stand with the sun behind you while you're looking at it, and you would get a rainbow effect. <laughs> No, I ponder about extract extracting the essence from it. Do, do, do we know any leprechauns close to Berkshire? <laughs> no, leprechauns do hide themselves very well. I mean, uh, we know they do. Things. And some pixies, maybe? Not know how useful that would be. <laughs> Rainbows made out of wa when water and sunlight come together, so... Yeah, I so, could cast uh, color spray at one. Wait, I got it. Sure that one, That's right? perfect. All we need to do is get some water and cast continual light on it. Hmm. Yes. Uh, light we'll and water. Perfect. I mean, you need <laughs> refraction and maybe. Yeah, whatever. No, no, no. I thought you were talking about this just being <laughs> a fake. Potion. It's all abstract anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about the rainbow bit. The essence of a rainbow, just yeah. continual light on water. Yeah. Do you know someone who can cast that spell? <laughs> I have no uh, not. Yeah, I mean, all we need is to make sure they make it like within the time of a light spell, so maybe. Ah. <sighs> Mm. All these abstract con, all these abstract concepts, or just a puppy's tail. Well, why the yeah, puppy's tail? Why, why, why did the puppy's I'm, ear? Why, why the tail? Is it because it's yeah. wagging? To Maybe. be fair, we don't exactly I mean, need to. Um, we the don't dog. really need to kill the puppy for its tail. There's like a yeah, lot of yeah. dogs, at least in the modern age, that you just chop the tail off for some reason. But we do need to kill um, the puppy to break the. I don't think that, that's just for like a, like certain breeds to like have like a medical thing. I think like uh, it's it's uh, it's all, all, otherwise it's like for beauty. Like for some reason, that's it's it's pretty horrible in my opinion. But yeah. Yeah. If you think about it, the tail is the human. Listen, we are discussing like atrocities here. I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, the tail of a dog, is the. Well, the indicator for humans if the dog is happy. Ky Kyla's just off to the side pouting about the butterflies. Oh. <laughs> but you say, like, cropping the tail's puppy is necessary, you know, like, you know, medical reasons. <laughs> mm. Alright, so That's... where do we buy a puppy? Oh my god. You can get a puppy anywhere. You can find a stray, or you can go to someone who's got dogs um, and is, you know, selling extra puppies because they don't spay or neuter any of their pets. It's a terrible situation. Um, or you can go to a specialty breeder, which is going to be ridiculously expensive. Uh, Maybe no, not ridiculously looking... expensive, but, you know, it'll be more expensive and you'll have to, like. No, no, no. Right. Let's get it. Let's get right. a muck. I reach down to the ground, pick up a random puppy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the stray puppies yes. are um, skittish and terrified of people. You'll have to like catch one and, you know, it's not just like summon puppy by reaching to the ground, you know? <laughs> we don't live in a wonderful world of puppy summoning. <sighs> I don't know, man. We live in the world where we like that. Like Bow and unicorn forest, so why can't we just collect puppies from the ground, Neil? <laughs> <laughs> That, that sounds like a big uh, flaw. Oh, like, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I'm going back inside of the Wizarding Academy and asking, do you know of any place we can, you know, collect the farts of a unicorn? Of course not. Okay, then. All right, Puppy's Tale it is. Okay. All right. I, we've settled on the puppy murder situation. Yes, this is how you make a love potion by being absolutely horrific to animals. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry yeah, about so it. We all knew this. Right? <laughs> right? We all don't even know. Balance, 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 balance of the universe. Of the and it's... then, you know, we're getting a love potion, which will create love. Yeah, so it, it, yeah it, it, it evens out. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're maintaining balance the, the balance, universe. you know? Of course. So, um... It, it makes Kyla miss Tursa Madoi for a moment. <laughs> I specifically... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he would take so puppy. much dark side right now. <laughs> You're looking for a, a small puppy? Yeah, a puppy that hasn't quite yet properly attached to its mother, so it can fall in love with the owner much faster. All right. Um, well, it should be easy to find somebody with a plethora of puppies that they're going to sell or get rid of before they have to kill the rest of them, because they can't keep them all. Um, and you're looking for these puppies in Berkshire? Yeah. Well, sure enough, you find a, a farm fairly near to the Wizarding Academy uh, where there is, you know, there's a guy and a couple other kids sitting out at a, a little makeshift bench that you would typically sell lemonade at. Uh, but instead, they've just got like oh, a great. stack of the puppies. Puppy and the kids are right here. <laughs> <They're> just... <Yeah. laughs> uh, and there, there's the dad and he, he's saying, dogs, dogs for sale. Anyone need uh, a new puppy? Great gifts for your kids. I'll, I'll go up to him and ask him how how old are these uh how old are these puppies? Uh, well, these ones here are two weeks old. All right, <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, that'll do. Uh, how much do you want? Uh, Has two weeks old puppies even opened their eyes yet? That's what I was actually googling yeah, right no, now. Not, not quite yet. Uh, they open it's not, it's about two weeks. Okay, so I think they need to be about three weeks old. So they're they're three weeks old. Otherwise, they'd still need their their mother to keep track of um uh, for survival. Uh, well, th these little scrappers here we we sell for a silver each. That, I, I don't think like I his, 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 like, I'm not sure if puppies that old are they weaned? That's the thing. Like, can they? That's probably what you want to look for. You know, someone is like that can, can survive without their mother's milk. I think right? that's. Mm. You, you can you can wean them off. Um, can we can we just say that they're that can we just say that they're like exactly young enough? Yeah, they, they're not going to sell the puppies that need to be that need their mother for survival, right? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know what age that is. Is it, yeah. Ben, you seem to be the puppy we have expert here. Like four, like four, cats, four, four weeks, maybe, uh, or something. More cats for me, but like, yeah, you can take them off their mother think... really young, like three, four weeks, but it's not good for them. Um, yeah. And they'll probably die, but we don't really care about that. Yeah, so. I don't think, I, don't think you <laughs> care. I, I take two puppies and uh, give that's... them two silver. Thank you, thank you. All that's, right. that's three puppies you have collected total. Ben got one and Doreen got two. Oh. Okay. I'm just putting it in my robe and then just walking away. <laughs> oh, they just put it mutts. Like, are they, they like, they have mutts and they like, oh, yeah, stuff. they're, you know, they're, they're very muddy. Oh, yeah. Big I mix like, of I everything. like, uh, just the, um, just the mother and father. Have you, have you used them for anything specific or are they just like, uh, for, for company? Or do you, do you use them for hunting? Uh, well, we only have the mother. Don't know who the father is. Mm, uh, you know, they're, they're a bunch of bastard puppies here. Yeah. No, no marriage ceremony, uh, uh, created for the them. Worst, the worst, yeah. Agreed. Uh, uh, that's why we're getting rid of them, you know? Can't have bastard mm -hmm. puppies lying yeah. around. Anyway, uh, her, her, their mother is typically a goat herder. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, thank you. <clears throat> All right. 
the condom village. Should I buy just like a like a litter of puppies just to like? <laughs> what do you mean? Why? <laughs> uh, no, I was just thinking of something. Because they're so cheap, dude. Yeah, they're so cheap. Like, you know like... when you see like a game on Steam that's like ninety nine cents, and you're like, I'm never gonna play that game, but shit's ninety nine cents. <laughs> <laughs> I was seriously comparing puppies to a. Game on a cheap game on Steam right now. You're right. That's not that's not fair against a Steam game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Apparently we have two extra puppies, so now we just have two puppies. All right. You have a, a whole bunch of puppies. What are you naming your puppy? We're gonna start with Sarf since you only have one. Are we naming them now? I don't know. Uh, what are you gonna what, name your puppy? What color does it look like? Like what color sort of? Uh, it's like a, a soft, gentle brown, you know, like darker on the top and lighter on the bottom, almost white on the bottom, and then that, like that soft milk chocolate colored on top. All right, I'm calling him Brownie. Wonderful. I can and, Brownie. <laughs> uh, Dor uh, Nick <laughs> slash Doreen, what are you naming your two puppies? I've come up with the one name. One of them's going to be Snuffles. <laughs> Snuffles, wonderful. And the other one? I'll, cu I'll get to it. Okay. I'm just like, your snuffles and you, then just stare at it. <laughs> but now you named them, you've been attached to these puppies. Yep. So why don't you just kill them and you can we can collect the tears right now already. <laughs> well, I like the idea of having three opportunities or doing it three times uh, so that way we have, we have three you, times. You, you, Jesus Christ. I, I, I like how you're thinking, like uh, in case we can't collect all the things at the same time, you know, you have yeah. like a, a bit of backups. I like you. you like I you do appreciate you having are. a backup yeah. plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> backup no, puppies. Uh, you know, we could have like three samples, so you know the students have a lot of chances to, you know, get it right. Well, I think that would cost us three gold. The extra chances, actually. The yeah, students. yeah. It'd be good for them. Good learning experience. Oh no, I might plan to uh, take. I'll oh, just keep one of these puppies or more. You know. Um, what so, are we like, doing now? Just to be sure, they all have tails. Yes, right? they all have okay. tails. Yes. <laughs> okay. They have a tail to tell. Oh god. <laughs> a very long one. Uh, I'm not... <laughs> Am I going to be taxidermying some puppies? I think so. A headless puppy. Or, no, tailless puppy. A tailless puppy. Okay. All uh, right. What now? Should we move to another town? All right. Now we just need to find some kid that is looking for a puppy. Yeah, we got to another farm. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Neil just being so sad about his life decisions now. <laughs> well, this is the wonderful thing about shenanigans. I get to make up half-baked quests and then just see what you guys do with them. And it's great. It's great. So you're looking for another farm in and around Berkshire where you nah, can... I think we'll go like down the road a bit because there's all those like just little pockets of people living on the road, right? Oh yeah, there's villages all over the place. There's a ton, let's take a look at the map over here. There's a ton of villages in and surrounding Bergshire uh, that aren't listed on this map. You know how there's this kind of like a slightly less forested area over here? These are yeah. sections where people have cleared the trees in order to have little bits of farm or grazing land. Um, so that, that's where you can find some extra villages, or you could head up to like Kirschwick, and there's a lot of villages around there, or you know down to Stoneport or whatever, um, and find extra villages around there as well. I would say we should go to Kirschwick, like that's Kirschwick, find village around there. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't have any dog food, so I don't know how long these puppies are going to survive. We get some dog uh... food. I mean, I mean, mean do we have to? We could do this pretty quick without it. Is that what you, is that oh, what you give the dogs? Give them some goat milk or something if you need to. Yeah, you can give them goat's milk, you can get them little bits of meat, you know. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> And then later, all the puppets have expired. <laughs> like. <laughs> 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 well, oh, shit. guess the worst. Guess I'm, we know why they were so cheap. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's gonna be. Oh god. So, um, you guys head to Kirschwick. Is that the plan? 
I yep. suppose so. Well, All right. It is going to be a, a two-day journey to Kershwick. Um, you'll need some food. You'll need some supplies. Everyone chip out some silver pieces just to cover your, your travel costs there back. Um, <laughs> Rob is clearly on to my strategy, but uh, it's not going to work, it seems. I'll let, don't listen to Rob. I won't. What's he doing? Uh, Neil desperately tries to prevent puppy murder by asking the players to name their puppies. Yeah, it's not going to work, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. But I, I enjoy your commentary in chat. The whole uh, point it, of me getting two was actually for me to keep a puppy. Oh. So. If these two get attached to those puppies, that makes our job way easier. <laughs> I don't think the I don't think the clerk is suffering. You know what? You know what? We'll see about that. I'm gonna see how attached I get. I think they... even chaotic evil characters can have the things that they love. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, but a but a cleric oh, yeah. of suffering. Oh no, a cleric of fear. Loves love, right? Because when you lose it, it's a lot yeah. of pain. So, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. right. So you'd be all down to just like love this thing and then have it murdered in front of you. Yeah, that would be exactly the kind of masochistic sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, I'll watch. I'll oh, watch Neil, I love this little oh my God. puppy so fucking much. Which one? <laughs> the, snuffles? the snuffles. Oh, oh. I'm loving oh. snuffles right now. Oh. Oh. The other one. Oh. Fuck, fuck the other puppy. You, you got I'm named like... Puppy. I don't give a shit about it. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, oh, oh. You're saying we should kill Snuffles, is what you're saying. Oh, God. Yeah. How Let's obvious. try the child first. <laughs> Wait, how how yes. obvious. Is this oh, that's, it's, it's good to have a plan B and a plan C. <laughs> <laughs> so off you guys go on the road north from Bergshire to Kershwick. It is a lovely day outside. Let's get some lovely day music. Where's our Middle Earth dawn? What's the weather like, Neil? I'm probably keeping snuffles like in my hood. It's a like blizzard. on my back. No, it's a beautiful, warm, sunny day. The, uh, there's no clouds in the sky. It rained like yesterday, the day before. So it's got that like extra clear uh, feel to the atmosphere. And you can smell the wet earth everywhere. Flowers are beginning to pop up and take advantage of the, the extra moisture. It's, you know, middle of spring. There's a rabbit hopping across the trail. You know, it's, it's a nice, beautiful Lovely. day. I just want to point out, like, in Sweden, we just, like, you know, reached, like, actual spring, so I'm very happy about this. Like, it's yeah. just, like, it's so nice yeah. not to, like, like yeah. Yeah, I, I feel Yesterday, yeah. here, we had, like, a 60-degree day, and it's just like, yes. It tells me nothing because it's in Fahrenheit, so I, it tells me nothing. You must be burning in hell. <laughs> uh, that's 15 and a half. Yeah, so, so similar to what I, to what we got. Yeah, yeah, that's what we have here in Boulder as well, actually. It's been nice. kind of cold here. Well, that was just yesterday. I think it dropped again. Mm. But yeah. Anyway, anyway, we're we're walking through this beautiful weather. It's uh, closer to seventy-two, which is like 21, 22 degrees Celsius. Thank you for the conversion, Neil. I you're, appreciate you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, it's warm, but not too warm. The air is clear. You know, life is blooming all around you. Can I get perception checks from the whole party while you tell me your marching order? Middle. Mm. Yeah, also around middle. We're all in the no, middle. No. <laughs> the party's just walking in a circle. <laughs> Great. Wow. No, I'm, probably, I'm, I'm, I'm probably in the front. No. Hold, of course. Hold on. We're just, can we just keep shuffling places? These wow. are terrible perception checks. What are you talking about? They're like the past, at least. 19, 10, 13, 16, Ooh. 23, 21. Okay. Holy there shit, we Victor passed with a seven. Perception. <laughs> yeah, that's that's amazing. That's I probably never passed a perception check before. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, I swear you have, but just not by much. <sighs> 
just asking who is walking in front of me since I have I'm probably in, have so low perception I'm concentrating on doing something else. Probably I'm probably second in line so you're prob you're probably like right behind me because I'm like playing with snuffles and then the puppy I don't give a shit about is just like in my hood and you're playing with it. Do, do you do you have a money do you have like a pouch that is very obviously on your person? <laughs> I, no, not really. All right. All right. I've, I've got like four gold. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I, I just asked if there's a pouch. There. I, I mean, not... I probably don't keep it like on the outside. I have a comically like... oversized backpack for a four foot ten person. All right. But other than that. <laughs> no. um, I do not interact with the puppy. I like have a stare at the puppy in front of me. Okay. My <laughs> it stares back into your very soul. <laughs> yeah, I have a staring contest with a puppy. <laughs> okay. So you guys are, are walking along this nice road. Uh, 23 is your highest perception check. Versus. Hmm. All right. So how does this work? And our lowest is a natural one. How does it work? Yeah, I have a stand contest with a puppy. <laughs> they're coming from there, so they do that. Excellent. Um, so you're you're walking down this road. It's a windy, twisty road with uh, trees on either side and you know a lot of foliage and everything. Um, when you hear from in front of you uh, the unmistakable cries and shouts of an orcish war band. Uh, and you can very clearly hear their infamous battle cry as the, the soft, gentle, wonderful music stops. And you hear before you see the sound of orcs charging at you. We're all going to roll initiative. These guys are a war band. They're not worried about getting the advantage of surprise. They're here to murder. Uh, so okay. initiative across the board. And we'll use theater of mind style. In fact, hold on. There's nine of them and six of you. This is going to be complicated. So let's just roll once for each side. Um, well, I, I rolled a two already. Does that count? No, well, we will uh, start sure. with Kyla and just go through the, the ranks of people rolling for initiative. So roll just a flat D10. Because otherwise it'll be way too many things to track. Okay, so I have to re-roll. Yep, re-roll. Flat D10. Wonderful. The orcs are going to go first, which is great because they beat your perception anyway. Uh, so you hear this war cry, and as you jump to grab your weapons, they come around the bend, charging at you. Victor, you're in the front. Mm -hmm. Who else is in the front? Uh, I guess that was second. Okay. Perfect. So we have... Victor, Kyla, and then like everybody else. Did anyone want to declare a position in the back? Uh, I was probably middle area. I don't know. Yeah. Well, well, I was in the, everybody else in the middle area. Kyla, so I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll be last then. I'll be last. That's fine. Could we okay. harvest the orcs? The love of combat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a question you should have before or after the battle. Uh, but the orcs will break onto your line. Two of them going for Victor, two of them going for Kyla. Um, and then a two, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine orcs. So uh, two Victor, two Kyla, two. Ooh. They're probably going to avoid the seven foot tall people. So two Sarf, and then one Doreen, <laughs> one Kars Karasu, and one Especially Zunkin. the. Very weird looking guy of the plague, Dr. Mark. Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with you in a little bit. Uh, so Victor, these orcs come screaming down on you wearing chain mail and wielding battle axes. One of them has a shield. Uh, we have a, a 17 to hit you and a 21 to hit you, Victor. Uh, 21 hits. Ooh, does it clear by five? No, it can't. No. Okay. Uh, the battle axe will strike into you for six points of damage. Kyla, you are the second in line. Uh, and one of them comes to your left, one of them comes to your right. And they will swing at you with a 20 and a 13 to hit. Uh, 20 hits. Does it clear by five? No. Okay. Three. Uh, it'll hit you for nine points of damage. Woo! 
Uh, Doreen, there's one on you coming down the side of the line with a natural one. Zunkin Rushbutt, a 15 to hit you. Yeah, it hits. You take two points of damage. Uh, Sarf, you've got two orcs on you as well. One with a 16 and one with a 20. Both hit. Ooh, does the 20 clear by five? Uh, yes. Yes. So you get crit once and hit once for a total of 12 damage. I'm unconscious. Are you at negative 10? No. no. Okay. Uh, and then v- do, 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 Karasu, am I pronouncing that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a orc will attack you with a four. Nope. Nope. All right. <laughs> Uh, so these orcs are on you before you have your time to get your shit together. You have your weapons drawn, and everyone except for Sarf is up and able to act. I will let everybody go first. Well, uh, hold on, because Orson. Boom. <laughs> uh, yep, you're standing right next to Sarf, so not a problem. Uh, you touch okay. down and rub his forehead, and all of a sudden Sarf blinks and wakes up. All Good right. Uh, do I get to make an action this turn, or? Unfortunately, no. Figured, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Uh, who else would like to go? Uh, I'll cast shield. You cast shield. Wonderful. Did you, did you take... Yeah. It's oh, fine. yeah, I took damage. Yeah. Doreen, yeah. Did, you didn't take uh, damage, did you? No. That's not fair because it's casting time one, actually. No, but mm. can we... Can mm. we do, like, the uh, con saves? Yeah, can I give con me... Save? Yeah, give me a con save. That'll work. Okay. We could do a D... One thing I liked, Anil, was DC with con save starting at 20, but like half rounded up of the damage. Yeah, that's fine. No, no, but a a natural one on your con save is definitely a fail. So you're going to cast shield as the orcs come running down on you and one of them whaps you with your uh, its battle axe and your spell is lost. And uh, you can take an action and draw a weapon if you want, but your spell is lost and the spell um, slot is lost. Can I, can I headbutt him? You may headbutt him, yes. My turtles have the headbutt, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> um, I will just do a headbutt then. Let's Give me see. A roll to hit. 17. That will headbutt the orc, yes. Yeah, for 2d6 plus 1. Holy crap. Oh, Minotaur. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the orc is alive, but just barely. You break his nose and blood just starts pouring everywhere. The orc is a little bit stunned. You can see that like there's a crack on his forehead as well where it's like ripped open and bleeding and uh, a little surprised. So Um, the two of you have gone. Victor, Kyla, and Karasu. Yeah. Go guys. (sighs) Um... So can I, um, wait, so in 2E, if you like, if you try to do a range attack, you get, uh, opportunity attacks? Or... Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, okay. Then what, what if I withdraw, like, back a little, like, to the back of the party? That's fine. If you withdraw, though, it's a full, it's an action to withdraw, yeah. so. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so Kyla swings to the back of the party, dodging orc attacks and using everybody else for cover. Uh, is the Minotaur in the back? The Minotaur is in the very, well, it was in the very back. Now Kyla's in the very back. Uh, I kind of like swing at the work that uh, probably not like. So I'll, I'll swing at the one who, who hurt me. Sure. My rapier. Or I'll see here. That's a, oh, nope. Nope. It's an eight, which I think does not hit an orc in a chain of mail. Correct. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. So this I, is uh, roughly your marching order, if you can see that, the the pink text, mm-hmm. um, except for Kyla, who is now moved to the back. Right. And yeah. which direction did the orcs come in from? Uh, from from like the front. Here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, where am I? You are K.A. I would be behind, um, what's your guy, Nick's name again? Doreen? Yeah, he was behind Doreen, yeah, because I was behind, walking behind her, looking at the puppy. <laughs> right. 
Hmm. Okay, so... We'll do this. Is now your current order. Hmm. KY at Close the enough. Right. So I go... No, KA was behind D. Uh, yeah, but it's close enough. It's it close enough. Yes. Well, yeah, it's close enough, I think. Yeah. Whatever. There. That's better. No. My go. Okay, okay. Uh, there, uh, there's like two or three standing next to each other where Kyla stood before, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just let me. Here. Yeah. We'll make a quick battle map. Ooh, there's too big. <laughs> Uh, there were two on Victor. Uh, I guess Victor is actually a little bit further ahead because there was a Kyla spot and no more. There were two on Kyla, right? Yeah. And then there was one near Sarf, one near Doreen. Uh, uh, there was two on me. Two, two on Sarf. Sarf. Perfect. Yeah. And one over here. Perfect. So that's more or less the order as they like come crashing into your line and quickly overwhelm it. Uh, Kyla makes it to the back. Fantastic. Uh, I will... yeah, think it's your turn, Karasu? Yeah. And as I chant, there's sh like the shadows we cast from from the light grow a bit darker as I cast my incantation. And in that, I if some of the raven sounds I mimicked earlier come into it, and I just look at the orc in front of me, and I command him, betray. Excellent. Uh, any other actions? From any, that's everyone, right? Um, and I kind of move a bit closer to the uh, next to the Minotaur more. Okay. Like, that's that uh, kind of stand next to you. I'm still keeping in that guy's range. Sure. Uh, who's next? Actually, Bastion, you're next. Roll initiative. Seven mm -hmm. and seven, you guys tie. Uh, mm -hmm. So all actions resolve simultaneously. <laughs> Everyone gets attacks and movement and defense and all the jazz. Yes. What does so, the guy I just commanded do? Betray is very open-ended and not very specific, so it doesn't really do anything. Command is, needs to be does, a very specific thing. You know, does 18 hit me? someone right now in this action. 18 will hit, yes. Uh, and they're medium sized, right? Not large. They are. Okay. What are you hitting them with? Uh, Morning Star for 11 damage. How do you have plus six to damage? 18 uh, dash 87 strength. I feel like this was one of those things that you should mention when we're introducing your character that you are four something and you have 18 dash something strength. <laughs> Right. Did. I didn't it. really before the show. I did. Oh, okay, the... but not not during but the character. You can't really see it because she's so short. She has a robe that's too big for her, so it's just all like oversized. It's, it's all muscle. <laughs> yep. It's one big pex. I would have argued that you can't be <laughs> sub five feet tall and have this strength, but I guess it's too a little bad. late now. All right. <laughs> so it's it's plus four from that and plus two from specialization. Yep. Jesus. All right. Uh, you do 11 damage and slay the creature next to you. So I, I threw a dagger for 25 to hit on this that guy? That is a hit, <laughs> yes. Against the one that's Zarf, who had one HP left after the headbutt by the Minotaur, so it's dead. Okay. Uh, and I will, I will take a half step back if I can then, just so I can get my next throws out, hopefully. Sure. Um, I'm just going to resolve the attacks of these two dead ones so I don't forget because they still get to their attacks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Doreen does a 17 hit you. Yep. Please take nine points of damage. Wow. All right. And I'm in zero. Zarf does a four hit you. No, I don't think so. I Not Zarf, uh, Zunkin. Oh, uh, what mistake. did you roll? Um, Four. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, also, yeah, I'm, I'm I have, going a, to I have a question about a spell. Um, Please. How does Call Upon Faith work? So it says you can use it for an attack, but it takes one round to cast and has last for one round. So, so do I use it as I'm making the attack and it's mm, just like... No, you now? would cast it upon yourself and the next round you could get the attack or you could cast it on an ally who uses it in the same round. 
either one. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't think I can cast on an ally for the based off the description. Oh yes. Uh, so you cast it yeah. upon yourself, and then then it would work for the next round. Okay. Um. Yep. Sure. Uh. All right. So I would like to cast a spell. I'm going to cast curse on um the six orcs up here. Oh dear God. Okay. Is there a save for that? I'm not sure off the top of my head. Let's take a look at the spell bless. Yeah. Um, um, doesn't look does. like there's a save. Nope. There isn't. All right, that lowers their morale and attack rolls by one. Perfect. So now they Can just I roll a d20. It, actually, because it's yes. 50, 50 foot cube. All right, cool. Easily. They are all cursed. All right. I... Since the um, one in front of me does not seem to change anything, Caruso grabs his cane at the top. Think, and it's not a sword; it's a stiletto. Called it. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> and he's going to stab the orc in front of him. He's wearing armor, I assume. Yes. Chainmail and a shield. Nope. No, it does not yet. Definitely not. <laughs> Okay, so while the, that orc is engaged with mm -hmm. uh, Karasu, I'm going to go behind and do a charge from the back. <laughs> All right, Wait. so a charge needs 30 feet, so you will have to take an opportunity attack from that orc to get 30 feet away to charge it. Can I just get a back attack then without charging? Yeah, you can just walk around and get a, a, <laughs> a back attack. That's fine. If they're well, engaged, we can harvest even more love. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. All right, so I get a eight. No, nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, have all the players gone? Nope. I uh, I get two attacks though, right? The yes. Second, uh... And you've got four orcs surrounding you because Kyla GTFO'd. The tank. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Hi, I'm used to this. You know, it's, it's the burden we have to. Uh... <laughs> Is that, anyone that, hurt? That noble burden, right? Yeah. Yeah. Noble burden. Uh, all, all they all look like they're full health. Oh yeah. All right, I'll hit the one who tried to uh, who uh, hurt me. Where would I was? Okay, let's Top go. Top right. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, but I get two attacks at least. Right? All so... right, second attack at the end of the round. Let's okay, so resolve oh. the remaining orc attacks. There are a bunch of them on Victor. Minus uh, one to hit. That's true. That's true. So eleven is a miss. Is a fifteen a hit, Victor? Mm mm. Nope. Is a 16 a hit? Nope. Is an 18 a hit? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> would have would have been a night would the night. Can I can I make a dance? Can I can I, can I do like a dance check or like a Please do. Check? Actually two of these should have been back attacks. No, but they were there is smaller numbers. Okay, it doesn't matter. Guess it's your dancing check. Oh no, I done it very horribly. <laughs> oh damn. So too busy dodging. They, miss, they can't expect it. <laughs> They're stabbing the ground to make you dance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, Sarf, you are prone. Uh, and you uh, okay. cast a spell. <clears throat> Do let's see, Doreen, you're unconscious? No, you're still conscious. I'm out. You're unconscious? You for nine, Neil. Okay. So Sarf and Doreen are on the ground. So this guy is going to move away down to Z, and this one's going to move down to KA. Uh, so Z, you get one attack on you for 10 to hit. Miss. Duncan. All right. And uh, Karasu, you get two attacks on you for. They're both 11s. Yep. All right. So Doreen's unconscious, right? You're the only one? Yes, good. Uh, let's roll initiative. Doreen. I have I have two attacks. Oh, right. Yes, finish your attacks and Victor, finish your attacks, please. Oh, I I kind I kind of rolled preemptively. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what so was it? It was a ten. That's sad. Yeah. No Ooh. good. But Kyla, that twenty will hit. For how much damage? Six damage, okay. Uh, noted. And let's go to the next round. Uh, Doreen, you are our initiative roller today. This moment. Alrighty then. 
you're Ooh. the party goes first. Nice. I'm going to stab the woman right. in front of me. All right. Oh, and stop real quick. He's gonna lying on the ground with a grin on his face because he's covered in blood and all messed up. He's <laughs> going to say, "Embrace the suffering and cast bless on the party." Ooh. Ooh. You can definitely fill the party with your blessing. Everyone gets a plus one to hit as long as you embrace the suffering. Um, Kyla, <laughs> not fear. you definitely hit. Uh, and you do not clear by nine, ten, unfortunately. Actually, with a plus one. He gets no. a plus one. Yeah, but it would be uh, 17 AC. Yeah, so you're just one shy of a, a crit. Give me some damage there, Kyla. 17 AC doesn't clear by 10 if I have another plus one. No, because you would need to you need to roll a 27. So a plus one oh, would give you 26. Uh, I don't have. Oh, OK, I don't have flanking. No, they're kind of looking your way ish. Not enough to be a flank. Yeah. Uh, four. You know what? That'll finish off that one wounded one anyway. So it was Ka Karasu. You hit, it was this one that was wounded. There we go. And the one next to me, since the one in front of me dies from a dagger in the chest or neck, mm -hmm. I spin around and try to plunge the stiletto into the one right in, to the right of me. Wonderful. 17, 17 hits. That is. Let me that. Uh, 1d3 plus 4 points of You damage. know what? It had 4 HP. It dies as well. <laughs> uh, Zunkin Rushbutt. Yes, I'll attack with my headbutting against the one next to me. 12. No, that will not do it. I'm sorry. And to answer the question chat, no, the puppies are not blessed because blessed can only affect six creatures. No, one of the puppies is blessed because I'm unconscious. I suppose. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, Doreen, are you at negatives or a zero? Zero, exactly. Cool. No bleeding out for you. Sarf, you already blessed people. And Victor, as usual, the noble is dealing with all of the enemies. Mm hmm. You know, this is my burden. Uh, so I get a plus one to attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. I'll keep uh, trying to fence off all these orcs against me. And 16. Ooh, that will actually, not all of them have shields, as I said before. So 16 will hit the non shielded one. Oh, cool. Alright. Uh, 1d6. That Seven. will bring the 5 HP orc to its death. Yeah. Uh, now there are Wait. 4 out of 5 orcs. Two of the players are on the ground, seemingly dead. Um, four against four. How do they like these morale. odds? Yeah, time for a morale cool. check. Yeah, they seem to... That's it's true. Awesome. Because. That's true. What is orcish morale? Because they rolled an 11, and that's right on the edge. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, their morale is 11 to 12. So with a minus one, which is actually a plus one because you want to roll below the morale, they roll a 12 against the 12. And where's our GM screen? Uh, let's see, morale modifiers. Let's see, lost 50% of the group is a penalty of four. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think the opposed by spellcasters is another two. Um, yeah, that's it. This isn't too much for them. The front one will back, back. These are all, uh, actually, they're just not gonna bother withdrawing. They're just gonna turn in bolts for the, the safety, uh, which will give Victor three opportunities of attack. Sarf is still prone on the ground, casting spells, so yeah. no for you. Zunkin, you're headbutting, right? Yeah. No attacks of opportunities with the headbutt, I'm sorry. Do I get one with my stiletto? Uh, yeah, that one was sort of in between the two of you guys. You can get into one attack of opportunity. Attack attack? Yes. Yes. How yes. far are they at the end of... 
how far are they at the end of the round? Uh, a full round of movement, so 120 yards. So um, I get to attack all of them? Yes, you get three attacks of opportunity. Stabby, stabby. What's the, what's the base range of a throwing dagger again? Or a dagger? 40 yards 10, is the max range, or something. something like that. Something like that. Do I, I, I get... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, because I have like plus 100 foot range or something ridiculous for the throwing proficiency thing. Yeah, but that's like 30 yards. Okay. It's 35 yards. Or something. something stupid, so. So <laughs> they're out of range. I'd be um, surprised for that throwing proficiency thing. So I get a plus two for back as well, right? Yes. They're not, they're not in long range. I don't know what the long range of your dagger is. 30, 30 yards. It's like... 30 yards? Yeah, they're 120 yards from you. No, no. He has the growing proficiency. Yeah, that's, but that's 100 Same. foot only. If it's Still, only I, I think 120 yards is a little bit out of throwing range, considering it's like a full football field, and also we'd have to roll initiative for next round, so let's just resolve Victor's attack. I can, make I can walk. I can, okay, it's fine. Is a crit, definitely. Nice. Okay, let's see, 2d6 plus 2 then. For nine at one of them. That will kill. Okay, stab him in his heart in the back. Yep. Right. Actually, Another it's probably one. a double crit since they can't get their shield on back attacks. Okay. Uh, so I their crit. AC is at only twenty or only fifteen. So that's another double crit. Wow. Oh god. Mm -hmm. I think the or orcs are all just basically dead. <laughs> yeah. Maximum of nine HP. It's another downed one. And third attack. Oh. Is a Ooh. miss. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Two orcs escape into the woods and are, you know, quickly swallowed by the, the vegetation. Um, and uh, we can step out of combat. You look around at the, the destroyed bodies about you. I am going to wipe off my stiletto, put it back into its sheath, and search the orcs. The orcs have some mediocre level of chain mail, some... Uh, basic wooden shields. They've got axes and uh, arming swords with them. A couple of them have daggers. You see there's some rope. There's a few nets. Uh, there's some gold coins on them. There's some candy as well, some hard candy. Um, and a couple of Anything bags. No, unfortunately, the orcs did not carry magical items. So. What kind of well? Do they carry love? Does anyone have an orison to get me up or anything? You're all right. I guess I like poked you a couple times. And... <laughs> oh, good luck. Hopefully, he wakes up. <laughs> uh, the total amount of wealth on the orcs was actually only five gold coins, um, and they were all on one orc. It's like five hundred copper. Like it's amazing. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's legit. Okay. If and nobody else is searching them, I take all five gold coins. <laughs> I was searching them, but I might not have seen you take them. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I would also search, and we might roll who took them. Yeah, let's just roll a, a opposing d20s. So whoever gets the highest d20 happened to be searching the orc that had the money. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa! Oh. Okay. All right, Zunkin, Thanks. you are on the one with the cash. All right, should we go I try and uh, help the uh, the cleric? Yeah, I'm gonna help. Yeah, I'll help. Just, like tie his hands and drag him along. Be good. <laughs> I like, I like, like, try to like, you know, get her on her feet or his, her or him. Well, they're at zero. Or, yeah, like and like yeah, get her. Yeah, at zero. Like, like try like. And it's very, are you very heavy? Because in your. Yeah. I mean, I'm a short woman, but I also have bulging muscles, so that's yeah. Like, I don't like, know how much. So, like, I guess I can, like, you know, uh, look over, like, yeah, start, like, like, yeah, and I'll help try to. <laughs> <look scared. laughs> like, I did not expect this. Like, uh, uh, like, how how far are we from Kershwick? We're almost uh, halfway, right? Yeah, you're like a, a day and change out. Yeah, pro we should probably rest at some point. Looks like it's going to get dark soon. Uh, and in Elvish, I say to Kyla, step away, let me do that. 
and with the one lizard like uh, bigger arm, he just helps him lift it with his 17th strength. <laughs> lift it. I guess you're tiny. good for something. Uh, Should we rest up? Probably. Yeah. Sure. Oh, well, I think we could keep going. Should probably keep yeah, going for a little bit, while more, so that we don't. Uh, well, we can go a little while, yeah. Uh, Neil, what does it look like? Is it uh, is it going towards evening? Uh, no, it's like middle of the afternoon. Mm. Oh, then we should travel on for a while. Yeah. Yep. You spend the rest of the day uh, journeying through the woods. What do you do again about Doreen? Uh, I and Victor are carrying her. Cool. She's pretty small, but her muscle mass is amazing. She might be 4'10", but she weighs as much as like a six foot tall person because she's just like bulging muscles. She's 90% yep. muscle. Um, like, is she, is she actually got dwarf or like... <sighs> wonderful. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty. Victor is sort of dragger, very yeah, average yeah. strength. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not having a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, eventually, yeah. you find the sun goes down, and you make camp along the road. And we'll go to our second break here. Um, and when we come back from break, you will see if there's anything else on the road before Krushwick. And uh, that's that. So see you guys in a bit. Bye bye. <laughs>